Just drop it here for Fight Up TV. Join my Josh Taylor. How's nice things? I'm all good, mate. Yeah. Um, as you see, this uh, the workout just done there. So never done very much. I'm just um, getting a wee sweat going, getting my getting the juices going. After doing that, now we've seen Martin there today taking his top off and all that. Um, I just want to get in there and, and get the job done now. You see, you know, talking about getting your juices flowing. Obviously, now you know with the media day. Obviously, you know, Muhammad Ali show for just be angling the image there. So I kind of got you going. And, and, yeah, and seen this, seen that in the background, seen him ready to go. You know, with his top off and all that. And then just, I'm just, I'm ready to go now. I'm, uh, I'm. All the talk has been done. I want to just get in there, get the job done, and then set about them. Yeah, does it get to a point now where, say, you just want to get this all the interviews yeah. just out the way as a process, yeah, get, yeah, get, get to bed, and then just counting down days to fight night? Uh, that's it. Basically, it's uh, the weigh in tomorrow, and then then it's just uh, saving energy, get fueled up, and, and ready to go. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm at that point now where, you're, where it's just I just want to get just in there. Get yeah, in I'm, there yeah. I'm really excited for Saturday. Can't wait. And you say, so, you know, you've seen Ryan Martin, and obviously with top off, he looks very relaxed. Um, are you kind of finding a build up to that? You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, guys are in your face, sometimes there's a lot of trash talk. He seems very relaxed considering he's coming, yeah. you know, a long way to, to have this fight. And he's probably never fought anyone, well, he hasn't fought anyone at your level. Yeah, he's nice and relaxed. Um, he seems a he seems a good guy to be fair. You know, he seems he seems a real cool guy, nice guy. Um, but that's uh, respect to be going out the window on Saturday. But I respect him. He's a good fighter. Seems like a real nice lad. You know, so there's no need to for all the the trash talking and all the stuff that goes on. I'd rather mm. not do that anyway. We're going to fight on Saturday anyway, so um, it doesn't matter what he says. So. Yeah, he's, he's a nice lad, but um, yeah, he's, he's he's nice and relaxed. But as am I, I'm, yeah. I'm really relaxed about this week as well. And there's no no sort of risk in overlooking this guy based on the fact that you know he hasn't fought anyone of any particular note. No. And you know something that springs to mind, you know, is when Terry Crawford came over to Glasgow <coughs> against Ricky Burns. You know, at the time, you know, he wasn't sort of a, a you know he's a, a definitely a prospect. Obviously, not kind of didn't have the notoriety that he has now. Is there any chance of kind of uh, you know overlooking this guy? And no, not at all. I mean, he's, he's a good fighter. Um, it's one fight at a time with me. Always is, and always will be. Um, I've learned that through watching fighters in the past um, that I know of, and you know, I've been speaking to, and they've been overlooking fighters, and, and they and they get beat on the night because they're they're not fully focused. So that's a lesson I've learned through traveling coming up as an amateur and other, watching other fighters and, and watching the game when fighters have underestimated their opponents so that's one thing that I'll never do um, and I've watched Ryan Martin a lot he's a really good fighter he's, he's, he's got it all really so uh, there's I, I can't afford to overlook him so it would be sh very stupid of me so um, I've, I'm fully focused on Saturday and how exciting is it to have this actual event you know in Scotland in Glasgow massive fan base oh, it's, here it's brilliant it's a uh, it's brilliant. I think this is probably the largest card that Scotland's probably seen for, if not ever, really. You know, such big names in, in this card. You know, and it's all top quality fights. And uh, I'm just, I'm really proud to be a part of it and be and be bringing these nights to Scotland. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy that I'm able to provide the fans. Uh, with such a big night, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, and would you envision having more nights here? Obviously, you know some massive opponents. Obviously, on the other yeah. side, and obviously on your side of the draw as well. You know, would you envision sort of having a final in, in Scotland as yeah, well? Would that be something? Yeah, nice? I would love it. Yeah, I would love to have a, a final in Scotland. Yeah, no, but um, it's probably unlikely. You know, it's a, this is a as Kelly says, it's a, it's like the Champions League of boxing. You know, so it could be it could be anywhere. But I'm willing to travel anywhere and, and see new places, and I'm, I'm I'm excited for that as well. You, you don't see new places as well. You almost get the feeling. I know where to be and in Scotland there's a, there's a big buzz obviously about yourself about the events you know could it be a situation where it's hard to turn down getting it back to Scotland you know you know it's gone to other towns and you know maybe attendances haven't been quite there yeah. that's not going to be a problem on Saturday the yeah. atmosphere is not going to be a problem you yeah. look like you're going to turn up as well yeah. so will it be a situation where you know you're looking you're looking to sort of make yeah, that a sort of consistent hopefully, fixture hopefully hopefully Kyle is watching this hopefully get the final back in Scotland again yeah, yeah. but um, you never know but I'm, I'm happy to travel anywhere but uh, these fans do make some great noise and great atmosphere they're very passionate and uh, I think they're down to like the last 500 tickets already so yeah, yeah. yeah it's, um, it's, that speaks for itself they make a great atmosphere and they're very passionate so it would be great to have, a, to have the final in here or another fight here but um, ultimately it's up to them and yeah. uh, I'm happy to travel anywhere and in terms of obviously in travelling with yourself obviously you know you've got a, an incredible amateur pedigree so you, you're used to travelling yeah. Do you think that's play a factor in terms of Ryan Martin? You know, he was sort of talking early doors that he, he wants to fight in America, he doesn't yeah. want to travel to Scotland. Yeah. Obviously, he looks happy to be here, but yeah. I think it's going to play a factor in the fact that he probably will. doesn't have that. You know, he hasn't, yeah. hasn't travelled like yourself. Yeah, I think it will. I think it will play a wee part maybe on his mental side, um, getting used to 
the temperatures here, the culture here, you know, different time zones and all that as well, sleeping in a strange hotel bed um, and things like that. That might, pay, that might play a wee part in him. I don't know if he's ever done that in his career, so um, that might play a wee part, but it's no, nothing that I'm going to be relying on or anything like that because he's a, he's, he's a professional at the end of the day and he's, and he's coming here to fight and he's coming here to win, so I'm expecting a tough fight, but it could play a little part in his mind maybe, in his mental state maybe, yeah. Yeah, well listen, you know, Josh Taylor, thanks for talking the fights on CV, you look an incredible shape. Yeah. Good man, thanks, thanks very, very much. much. Cheers, Take mate. it easy, Thank cheers, 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 mate. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers, Bill.